So hi everyone! In this video, we're going to continue our discussion on the demand in a perfectly competitive market by discussing a firm's individual demand curve under perfect competition. So in the last video, we discussed what the market demand is. Now we're going to try to derive something that's part of the market demand, which is a firm's demand curve. Okay, so before we know, uh, before we continue, we need to know that an individual firm's size, okay, so the size of a firm, so we have one firm, it's very small relative to the market, i.e., okay, an individual firm, so by itself, an individual firm doesn't influence, doesn't influence market conditions, Okay, so by market conditions, we mean it doesn't necessarily influence the entire market demand, nor the supply, nor the price, right? So it doesn't uh, affect the prevailing price in the market should, the, should that individual firm exit the market or um, prove some sort of action. So uh, that, that again goes back to the assumption of perfect competition wherein an individual firm or an, or an individual consumer has no bearing on the entire market price and market quantity that's eventually uh, set. Okay, so an individual firm's demand function reflects its assumption that the firm can sell everything it wants at a going market price. What does that mean? Remember, again, that Firms are also price takers. They cannot set the price. They have no ability to set the price. They just take the price as given. And with that going market price, the firm can try to sell all that it can, but it has to sell it at that price. Again, there's no incentive to deviate from that price. Hence, for a single firm, the demand curve is horizontal and pegged at the going market price. Okay, so say we have P here. Okay, and then we have Q, very high school economics. Okay, the demand curve for that singular firm, for that individual firm, okay, is a horizontal line that is equal to the price of the market. So that's the firm's demand curve. Uh, in this case, it's a horizontal line wherein P is constant there, which is the market price, and it's equal to that prevailing market price. Now, Something to note is that, okay, again, it can sell all that it wants at the prevailing market price. So that means that a firm's individual revenue function, revenue, okay, is equal to P times Q, right? But you know that P is fixed, right? This is fixed. So in the market, okay, again, the firm cannot uh, set it. So it's a given market price. Therefore, if we derive, okay, if we derive an individual firm's marginal revenue function, so marginal revenue is essentially the derivative of revenue with respect to Q, okay? And it's a derivative because, again, P doesn't change, so this is equal to just P. So the marginal revenue under perfect competition, okay, is equal to P as P is constant. Thus, in a perfectly, for a perfectly competitive firm, for a perfectly competitive firm, competitive firm, okay, a firm's MR curve, MR, is equal to the firm's demand curve, which in this case is equal to P. And that's the individual demand curve of a firm under perfect uh, competition. 